I made 20 liters of multipurpose liquid soap for just 6,000 Naira and you can use this to wash your dishes, to wash your clothes, to mop, to clean your surfaces for anything. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're making multipurpose liquid soap. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is to locate a chemical shop around you. There you can get all the ingredients you need in making your liquid soap. Fetch 20 liters of clean water into a bucket and take 2 liters out. To that 2 liters, you're going to dissolve caustic soda, soda ash and STPP. Mix properly and set aside. Don't forget to cover your nose with a nose mask and to wear a very thick rubber gloves. To another bowl, you're going to fetch 2 liters of water to dissolve SLS. Set aside and take about 200 ml of water from the 16 liters and mix your color i'm using green color here and set that aside as well to the remaining 16 liters you're going to add in nitrosol and mix properly till everything is completely dissolved then go in with sulfonic acid and texapone and mix properly till everything is combined then add in the ingredients we dissolved earlier to this and mix properly once it's properly mixed go in with your soap booster and mix again then go in with the dissolved color and mix properly one thing about making liquid soap is you're going to mix and mix and mix and then go in with your fragrance i'm using sweet lemon fragrance and then add in your vegetable glycerin I specifically asked for vegetable glycerin because I have a very sensitive and my hands dry out. So this vegetable glycerin would help prevent irritation and would help soothe my skin anytime I use it to wash dishes or to mop or to clean. I would mix everything in properly and cover it for 24 hours so all the ingredients can settle in properly before I store in my squeeze bottles. I also got my squeeze bottles from the market as well and I got a dozen for 3,500 Naira. That brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and you learned a thing or two. I will list the measurements in my description box. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and drop a comment. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!